to... Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers EEM with me and Oni, who is disappeared. I'm, I'm by the base. Hello, guys. Hey, you turned your broadcaster off, though. I'm trying to be all sneaky. Alright, so you have, like, maybe five minutes of fuel to go find uranium. Not if I keep glitching through walls, I don't. Well, don't go through the walls. What is going on with the projection? It's off. <laughs> not for me, it's not. It is... Going up and down, up and down. Well, rotating. Turn it off. Have at it, fair captain. I'm gonna uh, go mining before the world blows up <laughs> on me. It's already off for me, huh? Yeah, press Y. There you go. Careful. Oh, there went one landing gear. What? Oh, no, it's still there. Never mind. It was hidden. You're good. Find the uranium before you run out of fuel. No shit. No. It's a small ship, so you don't got that big of a range. Uh, projector. <laughs> Did you crash? Oh, no. Yes. You crashed already? But don't worry. It's 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 fine. No damage. I hit it with the drills. <laughs> but I found uranium, so. Yay! Right next to the base, as usual. <laughs> Oh, I remember this ship. I love this ship. Oh, I gotta see how it looks. Alright, uh, five, no, six, 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 six. Jesus, if you want that much, that many sixes, just go watch Pornhub. <laughs> oh, this is so... Oh, there we go. This could be problematic. Right. I didn't think this through very intelligently. Hmm. Interesting how I'm gonna get this thing out of here now. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, you went straight down, didn't you? Yes, sir. You can't do that. Oh, magnesium, like uranium, and silicon. Like, hell, I can't go straight down. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what's it? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. We're good. Uranium. For days. Look at all that uranium. Oh wait, nobody can actually see it. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, where's this rotor? We need to make you... Wait, no, not you. This one. Uh, you're supposed to be... 180. Confirm. 180. Confirm. One. Oops. One. Confirm. How does 21,000 uranium sound? Eh, might be okay. It needs to go up more. Right. Five, no. Four, four, there we go. Alright, so I need this to come up here. Now, did the connector on top of the base ever get fixed? Like, so that it's actually hooked up? 
Uh, sure. You see what I have to deal with. And there's no connector on the bottom, so... No, you gotta rewire that so it comes from the top. You do it! Hey, I'm building a <laughs> ship. You do it. What are you building a ship for? To get off this planet. Oh lord, see how, see how determined he is to get off this planet. It's obsessive. I'm out of here. I'm tired of this place. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to show only. Ah! <laughs> Stop doing that. Stop doing what? Whatever you're doing. The ship kind of flung me across the base. <laughs> no damage detected, at least. <laughs> Although the ship is being really wonky for me right now. It's, I think I should probably lash the landing gears. That could, that that might. Be worse. Oh, I need more of this. Uh, uh, here we go. Ow. Tried to mine. Upgrades to the refinery. Yeah, they came through. Sweet. <laughs> I can only imagine what my world looks like if I loaded it up with all the broken textures from the mods. <laughs> <laughs> all the purple blocks. <laughs> That'd basically be almost the entire base. <laughs> Alright, orders in this place. Orders in this place. Yeah, you watched it. Do you think I had too many guns on the station? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little overkill there. And I've only been attacked by pirates once. <laughs> and it got shredded too. <laughs> that was before I had that triple barrel up on top, or the Vulcans, or uh, the Firestorm, or anything. That I just had those top mounted um, 300s and uh, 40 millimeters up there. Jeez. And they just absolutely wrecked the pirate ship because it was a large ship too it was they had sent in a scout and i i rammed it with the mining ship <laughs> just in case the guns weren't enough i'll never bring you over <laughs> and this was before the mining ship had all those extra drills on it it was just the base core and i had just gotten done mining an asteroid and next thing you know, the scout pops in on my, as I'm on my way back. Luckily, I had a couple of the shield generators finished on it. And this thing just comes along and starts peppering the side of the, the mining ship with light, you know, machine gun fire. But it wasn't really doing anything. The shields were just soaking it all up. And I'm sitting there steadily watching the shields just kind of slowly dwindle away. And so I just turned and attacked and just <laughs> rammed it. I had the, the massive drill just turning the whole time and it just I slammed into that thing and obliterated it. Oh, I was going like a hundred meters per second and I hit that sucker full on with a moving drill. <laughs> <laughs> of course at that point the shields just kind of flared out of existence and uh, some of the pieces of the ship bounced across the hull of the miner and caused some pretty significant armor damage to it but you know, it, it's sad that of all the things to damage the ship, the machine guns wouldn't be one of them. You can but... double click to continuously weld. Yeah. I did you not know, know that. that. No. I did, just did. I like, wait, what? The other way to, to do that is just start welding in an open your inventory. They were supposed to have fixed that. But what it still works. Short on? I read now there's something. I don't know what it, uh to your place now. Yeah, another another ten K uranium Ooh. going here. 
Oh, motors, that's what I mean. There actually wasn't that much uranium down there, unfortunately. Well, yeah, it was, you just didn't get enough. What do you mean? I've already drilled through the uranium into the rock beyond. It, it spread out in a little flat pancake. Yeah. I know that. But you can't drill through it. Whoops! I'm gonna ram your ship! Don't, oh. don't ram my ship! There we go. Now I've got 35 minutes worth of fuel. <laughs> How much fuel does the base have? I left it with 10. Oh, okay, that's plenty. And there's another 17,000 uranium being processed. Now, before we take off into space, we are going to want to get quite a bit of magnesium. Oh yeah. That's your job, you got the miner. Get all the- hey wait! Uh, we, we, I think we just lost the drill. We- we- oh, why is the base all- Yeah. Don't land on the light armor blocks, come on now. Yeah, I just broke a drill off. We still got all the ingots and stuff over at the, the mining outpost. Those all can be brought back. Since you got five medium car containers. Oh crap! Solar panel array! <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of the new mad mag boot uh, feature? Oh, I can't wait to try them out. Construction, large steel tubes. Okay, what all did I break off? Just the one... One drill? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that's just a drill. That's easily fixed. You just turn on the projector and replace it. Why would I bother doing that? I know where the drill goes. So it stays in the group? I will add it to the group, but it's not that big of an inconvenience. <laughs> oh yes, why? And that's why I do it, so it's easy. Metal grids, metal grids, metal grids. I think now, this is my most favorite ship that I ever built. So, how exactly am I gonna get to space? You're gonna ride, I'm gonna put a seat on it. Trust me, it's perfectly safe. Discover too. <laughs> too soon. Uh, strapping uh, a person to the outside of a rocket ship as it blasts off into space is it's fine. It's fine. Yep, I know we have everything for the computers. Produce. My computers. <laughs> why are you not working? Oh, never mind. Never mind. You didn't ask nicely. That's why. I don't need that. Of course, this cargo container can't access anything. <laughs> 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 ah! I've glitched through the wall again. All the uh -huh. way outside. That'll teach you. Oh, I'm out of orders. Oh, motors. I think the drill heads are awesome looking now. Yeah, a lot of the blocks are. The, the thrusters look awesome too. Now I gotta like figure out how I'm gonna do ships now to make them take advantage of that. Oh yeah, did we, did we have ice? I forgot. Yeah, we have ice. Not much. Uh, I'll go get some though. 
Alright, you need radio. Oh, a lot of computers too. You know, it's really disappointing. Well, I guess it's not disappointing. Is the um, draw distance for the game has made the planets look a lot better. It shows you a lot more ground detail farther out. But as you get closer, what appears to be like 3D, you know, like sections of stone on the ground is really just flat. Yeah. The ice caps we go. That was a very poor pirate voice. That, that was a pirate okay. voice? It, it, it was a half assed attempt. Oh, what? What? Whoa! Okay. That, that, that was confusing. What'd you do? I didn't do anything the game did. Uh huh. <laughs> Are you blaming the game? You know how you know how sometimes when you load in the planet is just really just big, a big round ball and that's just there's no voxel to it. It's just a I don't know what you want to call it. Low res. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened as I came across the top of the mountain. If you can't go straight down, how are you supposed to mine? At an angle. Never mind. Never mind. I figured it out. Yeah, that thing was made, made to mine mountains mostly on Earth. I think that's the planet I designed it on. Hey, I'm. Is this not ice? Yeah, it is. I need construction equipment. 300, uh, work. How much ice do you think we're gonna need? Uh, I don't know. Much as we can shove into this thing. But we also got to oh, make our components. We the the most minimalist we need is enough components for a reactor, refinery, an assembler, and a medical bay. And turret defense. Because <laughs> as soon as we get up there, we're gonna depends get attacked. Depends on depends on where we set up our base. As soon as we get up there, they're going to attack us. If we go, if we try to get, find an asteroid with a hollowed interior, then we should be pretty safe. They dry, they blow up the asteroid to get to you. Yeah, but that takes a while. <laughs> Alright, so while we're sitting there with our med bay, and, and they're, they're blowing up the mountain to get to us. Uh, computer and bulletproof glass. Okay, um, computer, bulletproof glass, there we go. And I really want to try out the shipyard builder thing. I think that's going to be cool. Should have tried that out on the ground. Yeah, but I haven't figured out how to use it yet. <laughs> I thought what about. What do you mean? It's pretty simple how you use it. You construct a framework of the ship. Well, of the shipyard builders. Think of. I mean, I don't know if you're a Star Trek fan or not, but in the in almost any series where they ever show a shipyard or, you know, something like that. It's always a framework with a station on top, control station on top. And inside that framework is everything necessary to construct the ships. That's basically what you're building, is a wire cage frame around 
an interior for the projector, and that's you project the ship inside. Okay, well, why didn't you build it then? Because it's time consuming. <laughs> they had a mod previously, I think it was like the Dakota or Lakota shipyard thing. It was quite similar, but it was back when it was still DX9. I used it like once. Ooh, a metal steel plates. And then my friend blew it up. <laughs> like he tried to do with everything I ever built. Oh, nice. At least when I crash ships here, it's unintentional. He would, every ship I'd build, he'd, he'd try to blow it up. Just for the sake of blowing it up. Ah, that's no fun. Exactly. And if I played Minecraft with him, he'd just run as far away from my area as possible, set up a simple wooden shack, and then just sit inside. <laughs> he wouldn't do anything. Modded point. Minecraft, and he'd just run away and build a wooden shack and do nothing. <laughs> no mining, no exploring, nothing. Just sit inside his shack. Alright, well, you know, some people have different definitions of fun. Oh yeah, 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 like, he'll spend days playing all the way through like any of the Lego games. But God help you if you expect anything sort of any kind of work. He tried building a mining ship once in Space Engineers. Once. <laughs> and though it functioned, I'll give him that much, it functioned. You had to be as delicate with it as you would a set of China. <laughs> because his conveyor tubes just kind of stuck out everywhere. It was just, it looked like an engineer had been crossbred with a total moron. <laughs> and Jake, if you ever watch this video, yes, I'm talking about you. Oh, they've been called out. <laughs> One of my other friends, well, you could expect him to do some work, and but if you like, I I can. We were playing on a map where it was the uh, red ship and the platform. Oh yeah. And I decided to outfit the red ship to basically become a mobile base, and I started flying away, and he just hopped in the fighter ship and started attacking me after. Oh oh. And the reason why, he couldn't figure out his way through the red ship. <laughs> he got mad because he couldn't figure out how to get from one level of the ship to another level, and so he'd just grind holes through the floor so he could get through. I've done that. <laughs> like, ah, it's this way somewhere, ah, oh, screw it. He didn't even want to take the time to find the proper path, he just... <laughs> I'm going through. Oh. All, he, all he'd say is, well, you didn't show me where to go. <laughs> well, yeah, it's your fault. You... That's, that's what I hate about gaming with some of my friends, is they, they expect me to teach them everything about every game. Uh, Steel fleets. I pick up a game and I know how to play it usually within the first ten minutes. Uh, uh, most games it's usually pretty easy. The Space Engineers took me a minute to figure out because at the beginning it was not straightforward. Large, small steel tubes. And I remember when I got Space Engineers for the first time, I didn't even have a legit copy of it. Oh, you cheater. Well, I didn't have the money for it at the time. <laughs> uh -huh, excuses, excuses. So every time they'd release an update, I had to Energy. get the newest. <laughs> you have no idea how annoying it is when every fired a new version of a game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are out of time, but I want to finish this ship before we wrap up, so we're going to go a little bit longer on this episode. It's almost done. I just got to build the booster section. He says this and I fly straight at it. You better not. I will destroy you. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be capable of doing that on my own. <laughs> Wait, no, I won't destroy you. That's my ship. 
inbound, inbound. I can't tell which beacon to go to, or GPS. Yeah, 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 timer's up, I know, I know. Dismiss. Oh yeah, this ship's way over its recommended weight limit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got more cargo than appropriate thrusters, but... Yeah, but it's not crashing. Yeah. yeah. It's it, not it, overloading, either. It, it can stay horizontal, just, you know, forward and backwards are not the best. I don't know, I, I accelerated up to 100 meters. Oh wait, no. Yeah, forward it has the large thrust in the back. Backwards it doesn't have a large thrust, I don't think. I'm dropping speed pretty quickly. Not enough to stop me from hitting your ship. Then not. This is our only way off this planet. You destroyed a ship, we're stuck here forever. What? Yep. Just build another one. Nope, can't do it. And construction components. <laughs> That's the worst parking. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll feed some ice into this ship. Sure. More large stick tubes. Where is this so called extra seat at, if I uh, might inquire? I haven't attached it yet. Don't worry. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing the uh, the station's seats. Oh, yeah, that seat. I don't know why there's a seat there. I see that too. Did you broadcast the seat? No, that I'm aware of. Shawan HUD is checked. There. Oh, there. it was probably when I was trying to fix all the LOL stuff. <laughs> okay, I am gonna give the base a little bit more ice just to top it off. Oh, the sun's coming up. You should try and see if the solar thing is it turning? Nah, it's not looking at the sun. Okay, but we went through a massive update. You may have to reset it. Alright, uh, I mean, if it was working, it always looks not at this. It looks at the sun even if the sun is on the other side of the planet. But yeah, turning them off and turning them back on didn't work last time. We'll try again. They are all the way at the bottom. Off. On. Nope. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're moving. But Wait, yeah, it did look like. Didn't uh, you lock the rotors? No, nah, I didn't lock the rotors. You sure? Because I'm pretty sure you locked them at one point because of the problems that I was having. Oh, that was a while ago. Where are those rotors? Rotor A1 is on. And two, yeah, no. Nope. They can run if they want to. 
and they don't want to. We are so over time. This is gonna be like a 50 minute episode. I don't care, I'm finishing this thing. Still two, 40, 80, about a hundred more. Uh, you can load up the cargo bay on that with whatever we need. Uh, ingots and stuff are light. We should take a ton of that. do is don't touch the assembler for a few minutes I am going to everything we currently have in terms of components just hang on for a minute I'm gonna put into this cargo container right out here that way the what I'm about to produce isn't added to what we already have inside Alright, yeah, so you get enough to build the things we need? Yeah, exactly. But nothing, no more than we need simply because of the cargo space. If we have leftover space, then so be it, but... Uh, we have leftover space to fill that with ingots. We can make all the stuff we need. Exactly, you know, it's, there's no sense in hauling all this stuff up there. Uh, if we already, I mean, I'm obviously gonna probably just load all the steel plates in. That's just a given. Well, yeah, and the construction Steel components. Steel plates, construction components, and interior plates will all go. set up a system on that booster to return it to the planet. It does return to the planet. Well, yeah, but not. <laughs> it returns to the planet. It, it'll be fine. No, it won't be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's designed for re-entry, I'm pretty sure. Or something. Uh, yeah, I, I, everything's designed for re-entry. <laughs> The idea of survivable re-entry, on the other hand. Oh. Wow, it took a bad luck to go to the post office and the gas station. There you go, those should start filling up. All the ingots to one part of the chamber. I don't know, last time I crashed with this thing, the, the rocket, or uh, the... This thing survives pretty well. The only thing is, is it doesn't have uh, any power on it for the power and the antenna to find it when it lands. Large steel tube, metal grids. Oh, we got tons of uranium now. There's a hundred uranium in the reactor inside the base. Oh, nice. Okay, so I queue up and see exactly what we need. The large blocks. We need an assembler. Hmm. Small or large cargo container? Uh, large. 
Why don't we just start off with a small one just because base? Now, if you bring all the stuff for a large one, we can either make the large one or make a couple small ones. Two metal grave, large shell, two metal grave. These things filling up. Uh, control panel. Small hydrogen tank. Yeah, they're filling up. Energy low. Energy low. Screw you, energy. Right, let me skip these. So, this is our beautiful ship that we are going to use to get to space. And hopefully survive. That's going to wrap up this episode. Say goodbye, Oni. Adios, everybody. Take care.